Squarespace is one of the most popular options for photographers to share their work and have a presence online, but did you know that a hidden setting might be allowing artificial intelligence to train itself based on your images and with your permission? You've most likely heard the controversies regarding AI programs like Midjourney and how these AI models steal the work of artists around the world to help it to create the images that it comes up with. Your website's data, images, and content could be fueling the development of AI systems without you even being aware of it. This situation is only going to get worse with time, but there's something that you could do to protect yourself. Maybe. This all started a few nights ago while I was updating my own Squarespace website. I've been using them for around seven to eight years at this point, and overall, I haven't had any complaints. The site navigation is fast, and it doesn't take me a long time to make whatever changes I need to make. As I was working on updating my website, I noticed an option in the website builder that I hadn't noticed before that's titled Crawlers. Out of curiosity, I clicked on it to see what it was about and saw the Artificial Intelligence Crawlers option. It states that, Artificial intelligence models often train on web data, disabled to request your website content to be left out. What surprised me most was that this option was actually turned on by default. I don't know when this option became a thing with Squarespace, but it's likely been turned on ever since that feature was added, which could allow AI to train itself on my images and ultimately steal my work. Go ahead while this video is playing and check your own Squarespace site if you're using them for your site builder. And let me know in the comments if it's turned on by default on your own website. Now I mentioned earlier that there was something you could possibly do to protect yourself. You could turn that feature off and it would seem that this would disable the ability for AI to train itself based on your work, but that's not a guarantee. You see, websites have a file that these crawlers look for that's titled robots.txt. It's a standard used by websites to communicate with web crawlers and other automated agents. The robots.txt file specifies rules about which parts of a website should not be crawled and scraped by web robots. While these web crawlers and search engines generally respect the rules that are specified in that robots.txt file, What's messed up is that not all web crawlers actually abide by those rules. Some may ignore the robots.txt file and attempt to crawl content that you've selected to be restricted in the settings. This means that even if you opt out like I showed you earlier, a bad actor could still use your data to train these AI models. While this is a possibility, disregarding the rules that are set by that robots.txt file is considered unethical and it might violate the terms of service of your website. Furthermore, it could lead the companies or individuals who are doing this to legal consequences. I have no idea how it would be possible to know if an AI model actually used your work to train itself. I'm personally trying to learn more about it and if you happen to know about this, let us know in the comment section. Listen, this video isn't a hit piece on Squarespace. Again, I've used their service and I will continue to do so. I'm just not a fan of being opted in for stuff like this. And I really wish that more providers would have this feature turned off by default. I don't know a single photographer who would be cool with having AI train itself without their knowledge using their work. And I get that there are some people out there that ignore the rules. I just wish that the company that I'm paying to host my images and my work online didn't make it so easy for them. Knowing that so many photographers use their services to share their work and the fact that AI will never pay their monthly charge, it should be in their best interest to help us out. 